fashion lovers welcome again to my youtube channel my name is gift in case you are new here thank you so much for stopping by and for the returning subscribers thank you too for always finding a reason to stop by in today's video i will be taking us through how to draft the patterns for this beautiful dress which i recreated if this is something you will actually love to see let's do this together without wasting much of your time let's go straight into today's video so here on the table i have my pattern paper all laid out with my basic bodies drafted with a pencil remember every outfit actually starts with a basic bodies so next i will go in with my marker pen just to make those lines bolder for us to see in case you do not know how to draft a basic bodies i'm gonna leave the link in the description box so you can go check that video out okay next i went ahead to label the chest line bust point under bust line and the waist line and here on this pattern i have my bust that and my waist that drafted on this pattern okay so from that style we can see that there's some kind of fullness around the chest area okay now in order to get these style lines i'm going to go ahead from my mid arm hole and just connect a line from that mid arm hole to the chest line and to achieve that i'll be cutting through my waist that so i can close my bust that okay you have to slash through your waistline to close your bust that so i'm just going in with my scissors to slash both waist that so that i can close the two bust that that we have there just like so now if you notice after i close the bust that the waist part has opened up for us that is the first step okay that is the first step next i want to go up on my armhole mid armhole and connect a straight a slant line slanted line from that point to my chest line you could go up or higher as you want but for me i'm just going to go up by two and half inches okay I'll be going up with by two and half inches like so and then connect a slanted line to my chest point using my free hand you could use a curve now you could also draw slash lines you want to go ahead and draw your slash lines now when i was drafting my basic bodies i mistakenly drafted that part i will not be making use of this neckline i actually made use of three by three neckline that is three inches wide and three inches depth but from the style line the neckline is actually wider than that so all i'm doing is going in from my neck width area by 1.5 inches and then i will connect that with a curve i repeat i went in by 1.5 inches on the neck width and then 1.5 inches for the neck depth okay this is because i wanted to have some kind of a not too shallow or not too rounded neckline so i would just go in with my curve and connect those lines like so when i finished making this outfit i dis i discovered the neckline was a bit tight so you could just increase yours okay so after i have done that i'm just going in with my marker pen just to make that line border 1.5 inches neck width and 1.5 inches neck depth was what i used here so as you can see the neckline is looking a bit slanted we are no more using that rounded neckline okay now that we have done that remember the neck the style line we drew the first in the first instance so i'm just going to draw extra slash lines around that area just to create that fullness we have there so i'm just going in by two inches going up by two inches from my mid arm hole like so from the first slash line we drew so i'll just connect that with a straight line then i want the last slash line to stop on my shoulder tip okay that's exactly two inches you can make your stop before the shoulder tip but i want mine to stop exactly at the shoulder tip so i'm just going to go ahead and connect that line like so next i will also go in with my marker pen just to make that line bolder for us to see okay the next thing you want to do is to label and to label i'm just going in with my master part and just to draw a slit is a straight line which i labeled as my center front okay 
so i'm just going to label from below the neckline one two three like so this is to help us know um which part is which when we are cutting on our fabric so that we do not make mistake okay can you see so next i'll go ahead and just label it that is my shoulder line and also the parts that we will be needing okay next we want to create a facing for this outfit i do not want to make use of lining but feel free to make use of lining if that is what you want so to create the facing i just went in and drew 1.5 in and marked 1.5 inches round i do not want my facing to be too wide so i just marked 1.5 inches wide like so and then i'll connect it a curve now i'm going to go in with an extra pattern paper and just trace that out using my blankets please i do not have a table mat but this works perfectly fine for me okay so i'll just trace that out with my tracing wheel can you see now after we have traced that out just go in with your pencil or your marker pen to just make those lines bolder next i will go ahead and cut out the facing so this is the facing we'll be using for the front bodies okay this is the facing we'll be using for our front bodies next you want to do is to label your facing so that you will not get confused by the time you are transferring to fabric okay please do this for all of your pattern paper so here is my shoulder line the shoulder line and that is the part labeled down and up okay so this is the facing we will be using as you can see it matches perfectly with the front neckline next thing we're going to do is to slash through that is to erase rather is to erase the facing line we drew earlier so that we don't also get confused and that was why i used the pencil so the next thing i will do is just to slash through the third slash line can you see that style line? i just want to slash through it so we can have the pattern paper in pieces so it could be easy for us to work with okay good next you want to connect that line you, by the time you close your boss that you will discover that those two lines there are no longer matching up don't fret it all you just need to do is go ahead with your ruler and just connect this the lines the same way i just did and that is one reason why i do leave um, extra spaces on my pattern next we just want to work with these upper bodies can you see so i'm just going in with my scissors to cut out that part please take note of the part i'm cutting out okay so now can you see our pattern is gradually setting up so i'm going to go in with my scissors and just cut out that slash lines like so and then we have them as separate pieces also i'll go ahead and slash the side lines and the waist line okay so now we have this and this is what i'll be transferring to fabric next on the waist that you could cut out or tuck in just the same way i'm doing but i won't be cutting my waist that out i'm just going to tuck it in like so can you see so this is exactly what i'll be transferring to fabric please always ensure you label your pattern so i have my center front and my side front labeled like so like i said before this is how i will be transferring to fabric i will just be adding the necessary seam allowances half inch round except the side front where i'll be adding 1.5 inches okay so we have the slashed parts up there we have the facing for the front bodies and we have the lower parts next we'll be working on the back pattern i've gone ahead to do my back tightening as usual so for the back block i've labeled my chest line center back and my side back okay so now i'm going to go ahead I measured the same 1.5 inches we measured on the neckline. Remember, we increased the front neck width by 1.5 inches. I'll go ahead and mark that as well. But I'm going to be leaving the back neck depth as 1 inch. So I have 4.5 inches neck width and 1 inch neck depth. 
so i'm going to connect that together with my master pattern or your french curve anyone is fine so i'll go ahead and connect the neck width and the neck depth together like so also i'll make that line border for us to see by using my marker pen okay next we also want to do is to you know just um cut out the center the back pattern remember the back does not really have much uh paparazzi so i'll just go ahead and cut that out also i'm going to be drafting out a facing for the back pattern so i just went ahead and marked this a 1.5 inches we marked for the front round the back pattern like so the neckline and i'll go in with my tracing wheel and trace that out just as we did for the front bodies okay so after i have done that i'll go ahead and make those lines border so i can see where i'm cutting as well as label the neckline shoulder and the center back part next i will cut that out and then we are done so here we have our back facing please always ensure you label your pattern like i always say it helps you so you don't make mistakes as you can see the facing and the back pattern fits perfectly okay they fit perfectly now this is how i'm going to be transferring this to fabric now the next thing we want to draft is the skirt pattern remember this is a dress so we need to get a box and to get that box i'm going to be dividing my hip measurements by two my hip measurement is 38 and half inches divided by two i imputed whatever it is i got that is 19 to quarter 19 to quarter and then mark that down okay i marked it all the way to where i want this dress to end or the skirts to end so go ahead and divide your hip measurement divided by two and mark that all the way down to wherever it is your dress is going to end your skirt length is going to end next thing i did was to divide that same box into two so 19 to quarter divided by two i imputed that measurement in there so after i have divided that can you see 19 to quarter divided by two i got um nine and a half inches i just went ahead and marked that line like so just we are just literally dividing this same box into two remember we have our front and our back pads for the skirt okay so i'll go in with my marker pen just to make those lines bolder for us to see i went ahead to label the part facing me as my center front and the other part as my center back next i'm going in to impute my waist to hip measurements i've already shown us how to get our waist to hip measurements in my previous video please do check that out next i connected that lines to get those lines together the next thing you want to impute is your waist to knee measurements the waist to knee measurements i'm working with is 21 inches okay next i will connect those lines together like so okay i'll connect those lines together like so the next thing you want to do is just label i just went ahead to label the front part and the back part like so okay next i want to do is to go in by 0.75 inch on my back waistline this is to avoid zipper bulge, to eliminate zipper bulge. And then I'll connect that line straight to my hip line like so. This is the back tightening actually. Next thing I want to do is to impute my waist measurement divided by 4 plus 1 inch that intake. My waist measurement is 28 divided by 4. I got 7. 7 plus 1 will give me 8. And then I went ahead to connect that line like so to my front hip line. Okay. Now remember we do not have any any ease on this pattern okay next thing i want to do is the knee tightening yes knee tightening i went ahead to mark two inches like so for my knee tightening you can do two you can do 1.5 you can do one you can do three but remember that this will be cut on four so whatever it is you are marking it means it is times two by the time you open it up okay now for the back knee line i'm going to be dividing whatever it is i took from the front knee line by two and then impute that on both sides of the back okay now i took two inches from the for the front knee line i will divide that by two and then mark one inch on 
on both sides of the back knee line like so okay next thing i want to do is to go ahead and mark my waist measurement for the back too the same way we did for the front seven inches plus one inch that intake please take note of where i'm taking this measurement from it is actually from the 0.75 inch line we measured in the first place so i'm going to mark that out my waist measurements plus my one inch that intake and then i'll connect it straight down to my hip line like so cool <laughs> i know this is getting a bit complicated but don't worry you will understand next thing i want to do is just to extend the lines i drew earlier for my knee tightening down i'm just going to draw it like so can you see i'll connect those lines again and then connect the lines down to the hem of your skirt wherever the hem we get to please connect that line to that point i'm just making sure that that line is accurate i mean the measurement is accurate okay next thing we want to do is to impute our dad's legs now to get my dad's i'm dividing my ball span divided by two that is my bust measure my bust span divided by two is eight divided by two that is four and then i'll mark that why for the back divide what you have on the waistline by two and then connect that now your dart is not supposed to get to your hip line your dart leg is supposed to stop at least two inches before your hip line so i'm just going ahead with my marker pen just to make those lines bolder for us to see so that we can understand now back to the darts <laughs> back to the darts i measured my dart line i'm just bringing the four inches down again to the hip line remember i said your dart line is not supposed to get to your hip line it's supposed to stop at least two inches before your hip line so i'll just connect that and also impute the half inch on both sides of the dart line to create my dart leg i went ahead to connect that with a pencil as usual then for the back i'm also going to measure what i have there just to be sure okay i want to get a straight line and then I'll go up by two inches on my hip line. Remember, your dart line is not supposed to get to your hip. I just went ahead and imputed the half inch on both sides for the dart intake, okay? Next, I just connected that with my master pattern. Okay, so now I'm going in with my marker pen. I need you to see the lines boldly, okay? So I went in with my marker pen and just connected those lines. Just to draw those lines that darts do have, remember? <laughs> so now after I have drawn the dart line, I mean, this is basically all for the front. <laughs> Nothing really much. So now you notice there is a sharp point around that hip line. You don't want your hip to look sharp remember so you just go in with your french curve and just connect those lines like so just to make it very smooth you know your hip is not sharp <laughs> okay now on my waistline there's something we need to do i do not want the front part to budge i want it to relax on my body okay so in order to make it relax i'm just going to close the front that leg like so i'll just close that that leg can you see after closing the dart leg like so then i'm going to mark one inch down from my center front yes from my waistline down i'll mark one inch sorry my camera could not capture that mark one inch like so can you see and after you have marked the one inch just connect it straight to your side front connect it like so with a curve to your side front this part we are going to be cutting it out we do not need it by the time you finish making your skirt you will realize that it's going to lay flat on your body okay it's going to lay flat on your body okay so now the next thing you want to do is to label so i went ahead to label the side front the center front side back and the center back now from that style line you will discover that there's some kind of gathering around the waist down to the hip line so all i'm just doing is to mark two inches down like so on my side front and just connect those lines straight to my center front you could use a curve all we need to do or all we are doing is just to create some kind of volume around that area to create that pleat that we have there okay 
Next, I just went ahead and connected those lines together with a straight line. And then I'm marking this point so you will understand that we will be cutting these parts out. Okay, we'll be cutting them out. Okay, now I went ahead and labeled them. And then we are done so this part of the dress is actually very simple so this is basically how to draft a busy skirt for those who do not know how to so next I'm going to go ahead and cut out my front and back skirt pattern and show us how it looks like okay now I forgot to tell us I'm going to be extending the length of this dress by extra six inches okay so I'm going to be doing that directly on my fabric and here we have our patterns all set the front part is ready so I'm going to be slashing through that part entirely this is not a splash and spread okay it's not a splash and spread I'll just splash it through like so can you see and this is how I'll be transferring it to fabric this part we do not need it so I'm discarding it and so this is our pattern so the next thing I'm just going to do is just tape down that part so that it doesn't budge can you see all set all set so the next thing we'll do is to transfer this to fabric i'm making use of a crepe fabric here i went ahead to pin down my patterns and also added 1.5 inches seam allowance round the reason why i'm adding this is because i'll be serging this and i added half inch on the waistline and i extended this by six inches on the hemline remember i said i wanted it to be longer also the front pattern was placed on fold throughout for the back, I added 0.75 inch for my center back, 6 inch and 1.5 inch for the side and 0.5 inch on the waistline like so, okay? Now, I actually cut two of this. Next, I marked the wrong side of the back pattern. For the front bodies, I added half inch round like so, except the side front which has 1.5 inches as i will also be serging this part next thing you want to do is to mark your bust point so that you will know where to stop by the time you are joining your fabric okay so now for this slashed part i just laid them like so i marked 0.5 inch round okay round now to know the volume i added for the front part first from the one to two i marked four inches and three inches for two to three and half inch on the waistline for the side back 1.5 inches and the center back 0.75 and half inch round for the other part so i'm just going to go ahead and mark the same allowance and then i will cut out okay next i went ahead to notch my zipper zipper line can you see these are the patterns we cut out by the time we join this part this is how it's going to look like okay now we are getting there <laughs> also this is the front facing for the front and the, uh, the facing for the back so is ready i cut two parts for the center back i mean the the upper parts of the back and also two for the skirt the center front is actually cut on fold like so can you I see i also went ahead to cut out these long sleeves so in my next video i'll be showing us how to join all this together till we meet again i am gift have a blessed day bye